It was a quiet end to a long, divisive, and costly war. The last U.S. combat troops left Iraq without incident today, leaving the country to continue its own course toward democracy. The American convoy left Camp Adder south of Baghdad during the night, bound for Kuwait, and our Jim Axelrod traveled with them. For the first time in eight years, eight months, and 28 days, the U.S. has no troops fighting in Iraq tonight. The last convoy out of Iraq rolled across the Kuwaiti border at 7.37 local time this morning, capping a drawdown that saw the U.S. go from 50,000 troops in Iraq as late as August to zero. Hey guys, I just want to say hello. The top U.S. general in Iraq, Lloyd Austin, called the final drawdown the military's largest, most complex logistical undertaking since World War II. He stopped by with good wishes for the soldiers making up the final convoy as the military met its deadline of having all troops gone by December 31st. I'm very hopeful that things will continue to move in the right direction. It's going to take uh, the Iraqi government, the Iraqi people to continue to make the right decisions, work together. The officers who planned the last troop movements of the Iraq war had feared attacks from Iranian-backed militias active in the south. But the five-hour, 160-mile drive from Camp Adder, the last U.S. base to operate in Iraq, to the border went smoothly. The moment you crossed, can you take me through what your thoughts were? My thought was, we made it and nobody in my platoon was a casualty. As they stood on the side of a road just inside Kuwait, clearing their weapons of ammo, soldiers like Specialist Tristan McDonough, a 24-year-old from Tacoma, Washington, began concentrating on their next task at hand, racing the calendar to get home for Christmas. So they're going to run across Give me a big old hug, and I mean, you get to be home in time for my son's fourth birthday, my daughter's second birthday, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be amazing. There were no casualties on this last convoy, which means the final number of American troops killed in action in Iraq is 4,484. There are also more than 100,000 Iraqis thought to have been killed from war-related violence. And Russ, one of the reasons this last convoy was so uneventful, the tremendous amount of air support supplied by the U.S. military, more than 45 helicopters, fixed-wing, unmanned aircraft accompany this last convoy to Kuwait. So, Russ, Jimmy, the Americans have put a lot of effort into handing over these bases to the Iraqis. How is that effort going? Well, you know, we were there on the last night. We were very impressed to watch the, the condition of the barracks, for instance, the American servicemen mopping it down as the last Americans were leaving and telling us they wanted to leave it in pristine condition, high standards. Maybe it would be that much easier for the Iraqis to meet. But then we were at this staging area where the last convoy was pulling out, and these Iraqi military officers came in and started taking everything that wasn't nailed down, boots, DVDs, tools. At one point, one of them went for a television that was on the wall, and an American officer came in, and there was sort of this uncomfortable standoff. So these military officers from Iraq appeared more like looters than officers. It's going to be a very interesting transition there, mm. Russ. Jim Axelrod in Kuwait. Thank you so much, and take care, sir. And here is one more measure of the war's human toll. According to the Tragedy Assistance Program for Survivors, 8,974 Americans have lost a son or daughter, 3,141 have lost a parent, and 2,468 have lost a husband or wife.